Greetings everyone, this is the Sergeant speaking. Welcome to another segment uh, of, of our analysis of the federal election underway in this country today. Let's, what I'd like to do is talk to you today about a Canada under a Harper majority. Let's talk about that in some detail. First of all, let's see what's on the plate. $35 billion, because they've made it an election issue, $35 billion for fighter aircraft Canada no longer needs, desires, or wants. But the Canadian taxpayer will be saddled with, yet again, another white elephant that Canadian taxpayers will be on the hook with for the next 25 years and with absolutely no benefit to Canada as a whole uh, from sea to shining sea, I don't know how, how this meager number of fighter jets is going to uh, accomplish absolutely anything. I mean, don't even nearly have enough transport aircraft to enable us to handle disasters from one province to the other, let alone uh, halfway across the country. Um, right now, two of the provinces out west, Saskatchewan and Manitoba, are virtually underwater and it's getting worse. I can think of $35 billion better spent in disaster relief for those people in those communities uh, and because it's happening right now during this federal election. So let's just look at as that as one way in which we can spend $35 billion. Another would be, let's look up on lesser taxes for the rank and file and how about single people working or how about giving uh, better tax benefits to students for their tuition fees. I mean the list goes on and on and on more subsidized housing. Uh, we have a growing and aging population. We should be pouring more money into health care and obviously if we have 35 billion dollars to blow on fighter jets we certainly have more than enough to uh, put more into health care funding. On top of that, we can look at some socialized housing in exploding metropolitan areas like downtown Toronto. But Mr. Harper doesn't like Toronto. Mr. Harper doesn't get any votes from Toronto, so we will be the last to see that. Um, or any of the stimulus spending he was giving out in 2009 and 2010. It certainly didn't go to any of the NDP writings or the Liberal writings that all went to uh, places all over the 905, <laughs> all over uh, Alberta, um, some parts of British Columbia. But I look at more prisons because Harper wants to get tough on crime. He doesn't say what he's going to do with his new omnibus bill, but he is going to get tough on crime. Uh, just that in itself is scary. I think there's enough legislation in place to uh, and it's held us in good stead for the last 40 to 50 years. Uh, I'm not an expert on that, but I'm going to talk to a couple of my experts. Um, anyways, we've only got, this is a small segment, so, uh, so cheerio for now. Those are just some points to think about when we elect uh, a Harper majority. It gets scarier all the time. Cheers and happy Easter. Greetings from the Sergeant.